Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. This is the Conquest of Azeroth server. It is one of the extended servers that you can pay into and get a hold of the new 21 new classes that are custom tailored and made for this uh, server. Um, right now we're playing the Son of Aragul. I think that's how you say it. It's like a war, uh, worgen werewolf crossover. You have this mortal form that we're in now that casts these different blood magic, shadow magic bolts have this blood moon blast does a little bit of cursed magic uh, this basically builds up your rage and then when you get to i think 100 it is you'll transform into a, a bloodthirsty werewolf and you have some new abilities in there there's the blood frosty impact leader trees looks like the blood is more of a mortal casting form it looks like and then ferocity is more of the uh laying down the claws of the worgen and then pack leader is probably just a worgen tank um, we have blood magic here that basically increases our damage and healing by a percentage of our stamina. So the more stamina we get, the stronger we get. Um, the blood moon blast, nothing crazy, just generates a little bit of rage. Um, you could also use it while moving, which is really nice. And then, uh, the shield, which basically heals you every 10 seconds and gives you increased amounts to heal with transfusion, which is like a life tap for your allies. So you sacrifice yourself for them. Um, but the, the Worgen has a lot of healing abilities, so should be a good, uh, good partner anytime you need some kind of healing. Just a Blood Moon Blast right here. Um, pretty good. Pretty cool animation so far. I know some of these animations when it first started weren't the best. But yeah, like I said, this is a kind of a private server. Um, it's free on the main area. The Conquest of Azeroth, you have to basically get the DLC for it, in a sense. Um, and it has 21 new classes that you can play around with. I believe the level cap is 50 at the moment. They recently came out with all these talents too. I know when I first played, they didn't have any talents yet. Um, but yeah, 21 different classes, all kinds of cool things. There's even some retakes and reimagines of things like the Demon Hunter or the Monk, things like that. And then a bunch of totally new stuff, totally new abilities, totally new animations and everything. So I'm going to take a peek at this guy here. I named him Rage Wolf. See how he fares, and uh, whenever we get to the level, getting some new abilities, we'll uh, check those out and see how they're going. All right, so we just leveled up to level four. We got this new ability called Shadow Hemorrhage. Um, basically, does a little bit of a, a bleed curse type thing going on, um, and just does some damage over time. And then they, uh, when they take shadow damage, which I believe this is all considered, it increases. Wow, look at all these mobs. The size of that tier um, increases the cooldown so or the uh the duration so you don't have to worry about it popping off if you're ripping like a boss or something like that it just keeps building up which is really nice level 10 boys all right we actually had two um experience things somebody that gave me those very kind of them uh this guy in the party we got a couple new abilities uh ooh, we can train there we go ooh, ravenous bite i don't know what that one is oh yeah, there we go ooh, we got the curse of the worgen there we go Nice. And this guy, alright. Bunch of new abilities. Right, so the only ones I know of so far, I got this, which is basically like a countdown and they take some damage um, and gain range. And then this guy, which is like a drain health, also gives you uh, movement speed, which is really nice. Oh, it reduces theirs, which is still really nice, so they can't catch up to you. Um, this reduces your rage by 5 per tick and also gives you health. I got some of these new abilities. Let's check these out. Given to the curse, activating form and jumping on the enemy. All right. Attack speed is increased. No rage. Attack power. All right. Drains the rage every second. And then this is for Worgen. Okay, so that's a heal as well. And then, so this is like more of a, a tankier one. All right, we're going to test out this Worgen form. Bang, look how huge we are. Nice. Oh yeah, look at this. We can basically retain Worgen form by just fighting. That's pretty cool. Look how tiny these guys are. So the Worgen form jumps at them. You gain increased attack speed. And then there's like a stacking uh, debuff that they get. That basically does a lot of damage once it builds up. Yeah, the Worgen bite. Pretty sweet. And then, um, yeah, I lose, you lose rage over time. I don't know if this uh, uh takes 10 rage, okay. I don't want to be using that if I want to stay in Worgen form. 
But then this hardy one I was just playing with is pretty cool as well. This you transform into at any time and increases your max health by a ton. So if you're, you know, not doing too good and you need something a little bit strong, you could hop into here. You could use uh, this bite. Uh, what is it? A bite or, yeah, a ravenous bite. And when you get attacked and do damage, you gain rage, I believe, in this form. To basically just a uh, little slower, a little tankier version of the organ. And this one doesn't have any rage limit either, so basically sit in this as much as you want. This will probably be the tanky tank version of the organ. So if you're looking at the the pack leader talent tree, that's what I'm thinking this one would be for. It's pretty cool so far. I definitely like the diversity. You know, swap into a organ at will basically and do a little bit more damage. And then have the uh different abilities with the mortal form it's called. And we have the life drinker. That's pretty cool. That basically just drinks his blood, uses your rage up. This blood bolt uh Blood Moon Blast basically gives you rage, and then you kind of just spend it how you like. Um, and this uh, Torment is kind of like a, uh, what's that, like a Death Wish type thing. Slowly does damage. Pretty cool so far, not too bad. Right, we also got some kind of potion. Oh, that's for this. I need to heal someone else. I think this jump, though, is pretty cool. You just jump right to him. And if I just melee attack him, I don't really ever lose rage. It doesn't really do much damage. You probably have to like either get a lot of people hitting you or just uh not use this ability very much to kind of balance out the rage versus the damage. Alright, we're level 15. Nothing crazy so far. I just got this new ability, Blood Howl, which increases uh max rage by 15%. Um so that's helpful when I'm getting low. I noticed in Worgen form, when you are in there for a longer period of time, it starts to eat away more and more rage as you're as you're in there so you kind of have to battle between healing versus how much rage you want to hold on to without switching back into the mortal form um and then i also got this which increases healing and reduces damage taken so a little bit of a defensive cooldown uh 30 second cooldown pretty good but i was easily able to go toe to toe like three to four mobs not a problem just with this form um until my my rage started being uh too much to handle other than that, it's a pretty cool class so far. I'm um, going to end this episode here, and we'll pick up another episode next week. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode.